Yeah. Are you, are you ready? I mean, can I move them? Yeah, do whatever you want. Put your jacket back on. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, a little smaller, man. Ellie, be a little miserable. I like serious pictures, but I don't know how to smile. Ellie, come on. Mm. Hey, hey, Ellie, get him like that. Yeah, you can get him. Oh, do it again. Do it again. No, it's fine. It's fine. We got it. We got it. Okay, just practice to read. Yeah. Then I should go to the beginning. Well, no, you know, don't worry about it. It's just a shot. Just read anywhere. You can read Mary had a little lamb for all I care. No, Mary had a little lamb. I'm sorry. That'd be cute. That'd be cute, man. Do the one, do it. I have a heart. Five little ducks went swimming one day. Two, two, test check. One. Check, check. One, two, test, test. One, two. Uh -huh. Check, check, check. Back, back a little bit. One, two, test. Now put your feet regular, put your feet regular. Here we go. Hold on. Sit there, sit there. Ellie, smile there, throw your hands up. That was my fault. Hold on. You really care to get a picture of my sushi? Stay right there, don't move. I was just taking a picture of you and you walked away, go ahead. <coughs> turn around, Ellie, turn around, smiling, smiling, smiling. A little bit of a smile, buddy. How was it? Wait a minute. Hey, you got to wait a minute. I didn't get one yet. Hey, hey, Ellie, pay attention. He's fixing the time. Ellie! Ellie, stop talking and just look at your father. We're doing the time fixing picture. Come on, man. Hey, little, little brother, move. Little, little, little brother, little brother, move. You're David, move. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk for a Where are we dancing? Here. He spoke about tomorrow. Ready, Ed. Hold on. Inspect the fifth. Good. Big here. Look at me. Smiling. Big smile. <laughs> Got you. Go. One second. One second. Okay, ready? Okay, ready here. Here, look. Ellie, Ellie. Get closer to the seat. Ellie, Ellie. Put your couch. Stop. Come here. Ellie, natural smile. Ellie, keep stopping. Come here. Real smile. This is my smile. Ellie, that's a smile. Leave him on. Ready? Okay, come on, let's go on here. Come here. Oh my. Are they both on? I don't know. Fire and see. Looks like Ew, is that disgusting? Don't tell me you put hand cream on your mouth. No, I, I also do. I do. Oh my god. Okay, okay ready? My shoes hurt and then I Okay, can start. one, two, three, four. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay. Hey, come here. Well, I have a great idea for the whole family. We call, like, all halfers together in the middle of the room, all lying out together. Hey, I don't care if you take pictures in here at 1 o'clock. Ready here, if they're still here. Ready? You see, you got a little glare. Put your chin down a little bit. That's it. Let's turn chin. your head to me, though. Put your chin down, turn your head to me. Good. Ready? Stay there. Ready? Beautiful. Ready? One. Let's snap away. Stay there. Ready? One. Keep that chin down. Look at me. Look at me. I'm look at me. 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 Guys, wait. We're gonna do a squeeze when you're ready. No, not yet. Wait a minute. You're crushing me. Look here. I want to get full length. Ready? One. Okay, now you can get you can squeeze in, son. Squeeze. No, I'm falling, Ellie. Okay, hey, Ellie, I gotta see your face. Ellie, get your chin up a little bit. Get up a little bit. Ellie, get your chin up a little bit. Ellie, there. Stay there. Okay. Look at me, Ellie. Stop glancing at other people. Ready? <laughs> yeah, fix his tie a little bit. Push his tie to the right a little bit. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Ellie, keep looking at me. Don't look at me. Don't roll your eyes, Ellie. Come on, hold the hand. Ready? Ellie, give a smile. What is this smile here? Ready? Is there no smile on Yeah, it's a good smile. Don't, don't listen to it. Ah, nah. Here we go. Where's my phone? Hey, it's 
you got that glove. Yeah, you gotta Let's, hold it down. Yes, a little you bit. lower your chin. Just lower. Okay, yeah. Okay, now straight this way a little bit. Okay, yeah. I know how I'm sticking out. Don't move it. Don't move it. I like natural move. pictures. Don't move it. Hold on. One, two. And he's a lawyer, if I remember. Oh, yeah. Huh? No, he's not? Oh, I can't remember. Can you hear him? Lower, lower, put that door down. Don't, don't, like, reach your hand so far around your body. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I will. Chin down a little, chin down. Yes, yes. You want to put the hat back on the back? You want the hat on the back? A little more, just a hair, just a hair. Okay, right there, hold on. Now, do the handshake. I usually do the other side to see why. Ready? Okay, look, look at each other. Look at each other first. Look at each other. Look at each other. Look at each other. Hold on. Now look at me. Now look at me. Chin down. Here we go. Put your right hand on. One serious one. One serious one. Cheers, cheers, cheers. No smile. Thank you. Except this tight. Rub shits. You see it. Pull it. Keep pulling it down. Look, keep pulling it down. Yeah, exactly. Keep, keep lower. Here we go. Right. Give me a Munkach smile. Yeah, give me a smile. <laughs> Munkach made him laugh. Munkach, where does that come from? Stay there, stay You're saying rough, Chris? Where's the grand grandpa? We're going with the guys. Grandpa. Stay in, stay in with him. Then he'll go out. Stay in with him. Get this. I, I need to get out of here. Wait, the wives. Hey, let's Love go. You. Let's go. Me and my husband. We have to ask Okay, here we go. Turn a little bit more than me. Yeah, a little more, a little more. Turn your right foot. Okay, separate your feet. Okay, good. Ready? Get to take the left hand down in the back. Your left hand. There you go. Sit down. Lean your head this way. Here, here we go. Ready? Right. You go out. Uh, you go. You two go out. Go out. Go out. Go on the other side. Here, ready? Sorry. Here we go. That's my fault, man. Don't worry. Call him. Here we go. Yeah, Ellie. Ellie, look here. Come on. Oh, come on, Russell. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave the guy. Ah, okay. Hey, okay. hey, hey. You go out from there. Where are your siblings? Where would they go? <laughs>
speech a few times <laughs> before the bar mitzvah, but, but we didn't do that. Are you okay? He goes, yeah, we'll just, uh, I looked through it, I'll, I'll, we'll be fine. So he says he needs 15, I need about two, so just bear with me. Um, I want to first of all thank everybody for coming. A very overwhelming task. If I could, I would uh, go through each person in the room. And I, I said that Friday night too, and I meant it, and um, it's amazing. Every person that comes is so exciting. And um, unfortunately, we can't because um, we want to enjoy it. I don't think you want to listen to me. Okay, so um, I want to introduce Ellie. 
I just, uh, it was a very interesting thing happened Friday night. We had a, 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 Shabbos, a Shabbos meal for the family, and I was uh, going through uh, my prepared words, and uh, they started serving dessert. Rabbi Bender says it should be quiet when I speak. I didn't really care, but... Shh. No, when Ellie speaks, it's going to be silent. Okay, so um, when they serve dessert, it looks so good that I abruptly stopped the middle of a sentence. So um, we really do love Ellie very much. We have beautiful things to say about him. I'm not going to go through all of them tonight because we did that in a more... Clo a more um, a smaller setting, that's our style. I think it's on YouTube, maybe not, but um, we said, you know, very beautiful things about Ellie, and I would love to say it again. I would, I would stand here all night saying it, but um, it's not the venue. I also, believe it or not, didn't get a chance to thank my wife. I, um, way more than that. Keep it going. I have a half a page, Nechama. Hi, Gabe. <laughs> Want to stand behind me? Thanks. <laughs> Nechama, um, right before I got up, uh, said to you, please don't, please don't. I'll tell you in a second, please don't. So, um, this is not the place for me to, um, this is not the place for me to express our Akkara for for Ima. But the one thing I'll say, and I'll talk about mothers in general. Mothers are saints. Being a mother is, is not just a full-time job. Men don't know from a full-time job that's 24 hours. We know from, the greatest of us know from 16 hours. We don't know from 24 hours. Mothers are saints, and um, Nechama, you stand, you stand in front of the pack. And everything we have here is, uh, is because of you. It's hard for me not to say more, but I'm going to respect your wishes, and... Uh, We'll say it. We'll say it another time. I wanted to thank everybody. I wanted to thank Ellie's grandparents on both sides. I have a lot to say about that too. Um, I hereby commit to write down everything I wanted to say in a card, and I'll send it to you, Abanima and Bobby and Zaidi. Um, and I'm going to hand it over to Ellie. I want to thank Hashem, last but not least, for everything. I don't know how to do this publicly either, but um, Hashem gave us everything in the world and more. We don't deserve anything, but to have an amazing son like Ellie, and to have all these friends, and to have everything that we have, we feel very small, but uh, thank you, Hashem. And without further ado, Ellie Halpern, Mr. President, Ellie Halpern. We're gonna start. We're gonna start when it's total silence because Ellie has a very good heart to share. By the way, this was not written for Ellie. This was learned. Oh, this is important. This Ellie. I see. I, I should read my notes. This this when 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 we when we thought about what Ellie was gonna say at the bar mitzvah. Ellie's not the type of kid that you just feed a speech to. Not at all. So I said, Ellie, what are we doing? What's the plan? We decided we're going to sit and learn with our Rav, Rabbi Harowitz. Whoever was my Kiddush today knows exactly what I mean. And we went one day during for a Seder. We sat with Rabbi Harowitz. And we learned the shtickle of our Torah, Eli Akashas. He was mechabed to things. And then we wrote it down. And then Eli prepared thank yous. I haven't looked at it yet. This is Eli's, this is, this is Eli's, own, this is Eli's own speech. I want to thank you very much, Rabbi Harowitz, for much more than just that, but especially for the uh, shekel. Appreciate it. Okay, it's all you now. Thank you everybody for coming. It's it? it says in the Pasuk in Parsha Fayachi, Bani Nasaki al Khash Chem Achar Al Khaka, Ashur Kahni Miyara, Mori Bikarbi Vikashti. That Yaakov says to Yosef that as a reward for handling his burial, he's gonna give Yosef an extra portion of Eretz Israel, Shem, which he took from the Amori with his sword and his bow. Rashi says his first Peshat is the Pasha Peshat, is that Yaakov Avinu gave Shechem to Yosef as a repayment for handling his burial. Shechem, which he took with his sword and bow, referring to Yaakov Avinu's involvement in conquering Shechem. Rashi's second Peshat 
he explains that Yaakov Avinu was giving Yosef Shem Achad, which refers to the extra portion of Eretz Yisrael, which means that he was giving him the benefits of the Bechorah, being a fourth, firstborn, which he took from Asa, Becharbi, Vakashti, which means with my Chachma, which is Torah, and his Tefillah to Hashem, which got him the Bechorah. Arav, Rav Elisha, which leads to rights in a safer Bay field. Why does Harbi, my sword, refer to Torah, and Kashi, my bow, refer to Tefillah? The Rav answers, based on Achronim, that Torah is what we get from Hashem, and it enters our heart to make us better people through learning and doing mitzvahs. That is like a sword, which has power only when it is in our hands as a weapon, like Torah, which has koach when we learn it and follow it. However, Tefillah is what comes from our heart and is sent up to Hashem, and its effect is in the spiritual realms of of, at the Kisei HaKavod, which is like a bow, whose arrow is effective only physically far from the shooter. The Targum Onkos translates Bukhari Vakashi Bitsloisi Uvavavusi, which means Tefillah and Bakasha, which means davening and beseeching Hashem. This transla- translation is based on a Gemara in Besekas Baba Basra Dav Kof Chav Gemel, which in discussing the double portion of inheritance received by a firstborn, says the Yaakov Avinu merited the Bechorah through Tefillah and Bakasha. As an aside, the Maharsha explains that the reason Yaakov Avinu uses the term Harbi and Bakashti, a bow and sword, a sword and bow, is to highlight that Yaakov Avinu outdid Yishmael, who used a bow and Asa who used a sword, through Tefillah. As we did, say every day, Elam Arecha Be'elam Azuzim, Menachna B'Shem Elkeinu Naskir. Our enemies use horse and buggy to fight us, but we use Dabi to Hashem shows us the power of Tefillah over all the armies in the world. The Marsha asks, why did Rashi and Parshas Vachy disregard the Gemara's Basha that Charbi and Kashi means Tefillah and Makatsha? And it explains that it means Torah Tefillah. The Mesha Chachma answers, in the explanation of the Targum Onkos, which is based on the Gemara and Baba Basra, the Bacharbi Vakashti is Tefillah and Makatsha. What is the difference between the two types of Tefillah? The Mesha Chachma explains that Targum Onkos is termed Tzloisi refers to Seder Tefillah, which means Shmona Esrei, and Ba'usi refers to Bakasha, which is Tefillah in your own words, in which we ask Hashem for our personal needs in our own language. And it is just as powerful and shows how each person has a direct and unique connection to Hashem. There's a halacha regarding Shmona Esrei, that if one dab in Shmona Esrei and doesn't have Kavana, as long as he has Kavana in the first bracha, he is Yotzi. However, in Bakasha, if one doesn't have Kavana, of course he is not Yotze, because how can you have a personal relationship and a conversation with Hashem if you're not even present? In the Sefer Das Yaakov, he uses what we just learned to answer the Marsha's question of why Rashi learned Bukharbi Vakashti to mean Torah and Tefillah as opposed to two types of Tefillah. There's a Machlokas and Mesavah's Bracha, Stav Chav Ches, as to who was Mesavah in the three daily Shimon Esrei. One sheet that holds it was the Avos, Avram, Mitzvah, and Yaakov. Other sheet does hold that it was the Anshay, Knesset, Zagadola, who were Misak in the Seder of Tefillah, and the Avos were only Misak in Dadaman three times a day, but there was no Seder of Tefillah. It was only Bakashos. So Rashi seems to hold like the sheet that it was the Anshay, Knesset, Zagadola. Therefore, at the time that Yaakov had been Dadaman, there was no Seder of Tefillah, Shimon Ezra. Therefore, Rashi couldn't learn that. Kharbi Bakashi refers to to the two types of Tefillah because there was only one type, Akashos. So he held that referred to Torah and Tefillah. However, the Gemara was going in the the Gemara was going in the Shita that the Avos were Masak and Seder at Tefillah Shimon Esrei. Therefore, the Gemara learned that it refers to two types of Tefillah. One being the Kharb, which is Shimon Esrei, which works like a sword, even without Kavana, and the other Akashos, which is which is Bakasha, which only works with Kavana. Parenthetically, we pass in the, the Anshay Knesset Gadola from Rasak and Shimon Esrei, so Rashi was going la la. Our Rav, Rabbi Horowitz, has a Murdoch an answer to the Marsha's question according to the way Rabbi Chaim Brisker answers a steer and two Rambams. The Rambam says in one place that if one governs any part of Shimon Esrei with Al Kavana, he's not Yotze. And furthermore, one should not start davening until he's sure he is in a place and a frame of mind that he can and will have Kavana. However, in a different halacha, the Rambam says that Shimon Esrei, as long as has one had Kavan in the first bracha, is Yotzi. There's a clear stira in the two Rambams. Reb Chaim answers that there are two types of Kavana. Number one is a general Kavana, which means that you are aware that you are dominating to Hashem from the beginning to the end. 
And another other is a din that you have to have in mind exactly the translation of what you are saying. In other words, Pir Shamil. In the first type of Kavana, if you are davening and looking around or looking at your cell phone, you're like a Masasik, which means there's no mice that you're not doing anything. You're just somebody who somebody who is isn't doing anything. Just like by Hilcha Shabbos, if somebody walks by a light switch and he hits the switch and shuts the light without even realizing, he's a misalsic, which means it's not even like a mistake. He didn't do anything, he just walked by the light. It is not a mice. In fact, the Ramam holds that Tefillah is Dairaisa, and everybody agrees that Minatara, a misalsic, which means somebody who didn't do an action, is not a mice, which means you didn't do it. Furthermore, Minatara, we hold the Mitzvah Tzrichas Kavana, which means that any mitzvah that is Dairaisa, that is done without Kavana, one is not Yotze. So according to the Rambam, one who doesn't have kavana of standing before Hashem in the entire Shemun Ezra is not Yotze. And of course, he shouldn't start that the, the mitzvah if he isn't confident that he will have kavana. But this is only a general kavana of standing before Hashem and acting in the way that one would act before talking to a king. But when the Rambam refers to kavana of Perish Amilam, which is only ma'akim and only applies to the first brach of Shemun Ezra, that is a special din by Tefillah. And that is the din Durabanan, for the overall din of Misasek and Mitzvah Srihas Kavana would not cause him not to be Yote. So says Rukhai. So the Rav answers, the above, the Rav uses the above Rukhai to answer the original question in the Marsha of why did Rashi and Parshas Vayakhti disregard the Gemara's Pisha, Akharbi and Kashi means Tefillah and Makasha, and explain that it means Torah and Tefillah. He says that even if Rashi held that the Abbas were talking to an Esrei, and it did exist in Yaakov Inu's times, and therefore you might want to say that Rashi could have agreed with the Gemara's translation of a Harvey of Akashi. It's two different types of tefillah. One a sword like tefillah, which doesn't need kavana, and one a bowl like tefillah that needs kavana. But if Rashi had the same sheet as the Rambam regarding kavana, then in the times of Yaakov Avinu, there was no din or Rabbanan of kavana in Peir Shamilim, because it was before there was such a thing as a Rabbanan. Therefore, there's no such thing as being Yotze Tefillah without Kavana, because there's only one type of Kavana standing with Hashem, which one is not Yotze without the Kavana. So there would be no reason to say Bharmi Vakashi referring to the two types of Tefillah, one with Kavana and one without, because at the time there was no such thing as Kavana Shamila. So Rashi learned Kharbi and Kashti to mean Torah Tefillah. According to the Rosh Bishah, Rashi could either be go could be going on either sheet of who was Misak and Juman Esri, either the Avas or the Antrik and Asagadol. Because even if Yaakov Avinu was referring to Shmona Esrei, there would not be two types of kavana, and there would be no reason to use two words of Kharbi and Kashi. And therefore, Rashi felt compelled to explain that Kharbi and Kashi refers uniquely to Torah and Tila. According to Rav Chaim's Bishat and Kavana, we would have a Shverkai in the way the Gemara and Baba Basra has explained, was explained by the Meshach Chachma and the Prisha that Yaakov Avinu was referring to two types of Tila. Because at the time there was no difference and no reason for Yaakov Avinu to use these two words. If anybody has any answers, keep them coming. <sighs> I'd like to start by thanking Hashem for all the bracha in my life leading up to this special day. Because of the many gifts Hashem has given me, we are all here celebrating today. Avanima. From... From the depths of my heart, I'd like to thank my Abba and Ima for raising me in a warm home of love, for raising me according to the Torah's path, and always teaching me right from wrong. Thank you for all the times you encouraged me to lay in and prepare my Peshekta. I cannot express enough gratitude for the special days and nights you put into the special Simcha. I'd like to thank my father for taking me to Myriv every night in the pre-student council era. I can go on for years, but I know everybody's eager to get back to the dance floor. I would like to thank my special neighbors, who also happen to be my Safta and Saba, who always open their home and hearts to me. I look up, I look up to how they always open their house to everyone. Saba, I admire the way you love all Jews and do so much for the community. You are truly a great role model. Safta. From the time that I was two, when we sat by the 878 watching cars, to now, always giving me danishes and chocolate in school. You always look out for me. Thank you so much. Although I live so far from my Bubby and Zadie, 
I feel your love even from 300 miles away. Thank you. Thank you so much for always making the big trip to share special times with us. You made sure to come in from Anahasville and Bobayo. Whenever we head down south, you open your house to the whole family. Zini, since I was young, I always enjoyed your Cholomoe extravaganzas at the park. You know how to give us all a good time from the youngest to oldest. Bobby, every... What? for being the uh, most loving grandmother I could wish for. Thank you. Did, I know, yeah. So did I, I went from this, and then, uh, yeah, oh, here, here, here. Oh, there's another ABBA paper. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Okay. South to South, Saba, Bobby and Zadie. Hashem should bench you all with good health, and I hope to bring you a lot of nachas along with the rest of the family. One of the major brachos in my life is my family. My, par my parents offer so many opportunities for us to get to, for us to have good times together. Thank you, Rina. You teach me what it means. You teach me what it means to be a truly nice person. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I might not be so nice to her, but she's nice to me. <laughs> David Aria, I can always count on you for a good ball game or a schmuck a tish. <laughs> Chaya, where's Chaya? Hi, Chaya. Chaya, I appreciate the fact that I can always rely on you to do a quick favor. Daniel, he unfortunately he had to sleep in so he couldn't attend. Thanks for being the cutest brother around. I would like to thank my uncles, aunts, and cousins. Bar It's really nice on Shabbos Monica at W and Rifka, and I really enjoy the big parties at Safta and Saba. It's so nice how everybody always wants to be together. Shmuley and Bela. Where's Shmuley? Shmuley? Special thank you to Shmuley and Bela for making me so welcome in their home. I know that any week I could ask to come for Shabbos and they would for sure let. I was considering making my bar mitzvah by you, but I figured that I'll be taking my advantage. Thank you, Shlaimi, for being the best older cousin I could ever wish for. Where's... You want to speak? You always teach me great meetings and what it means to be a mensch and to be neat and organized. Thank you, Rabbi Zimber, for teaching me the leaning. So good feeling going up to the Biba knowing the leaning through and through. <laughs> Rabbi and Rabbi Zid Harwoods, thank you for making a shoe where we feel comfortable and grow into our and while enjoying a Geshmaka Kiddush. I have a lot of Akaras to the roof for preparing my Pishato with me. I enjoy the experience of my father and I learning with you. Thank you to Rabbi Bender and my previous Rabbeim and all of the principals for creating an environment where I could thrive in Torah, Tefillah, and the meals for Sadim. Rabbi Kras, now you sent me open my first official Harusa. Benny, who's Benny? Benny. I enjoy the Gishmaka learning in your class, especially the Maisha Shahayas. To all my friends, thank you for being the best friends I could ever wish for! I appreciate everybody who came tonight from near and far, from New Jersey, Florida, Maryland, California, Israel, and everybody, everywhere else. 
share my sim call with me. I hope you enjoy. I want you to continue to share many sim calls together. <laughs> Rabbi Benders is going to give a bracha. I'm, I'm not, not letting me do the introduction. Sorry. I'm not speaking. Rabbi Sai, this boy speaks for himself. It's just for us in Yeshiva to have this couple and the children and the grandparents models up all around. That's it. That's it. Yeah, he's doing it. This is scary. Wow.
hard. Is it like the delivery? Another, another. This is like sitting on a shot with something. Probably sitting on a shot with something. Hahaha. Hello, work. Where's your white front? Thank you. 
Benching, benching, and good night.